created during the first hours of globalization and in the current race of nations for economic development, the port of Djibouti has never ceased to meet the challenges brought about by momentum of international transport. It does this through constantly developing its infrastructures and improving its operational capacities. To understand the sustained central position of the port of Djibouti, one must retrace the sources of transport geopolitics from ancient civilizations right up to today's globalization of trade. The Red Sea Basin is a natural intersection for communication and trade, connecting all the major civilizations of antiquity. Beginning in that period, the coastline of today's Republic of Djibouti was already frequented by sailors and seamen of these empires, who sought to profit from the resources and strategic advantages of this coastline they called the Land of Punt. A modern era of transport geopolitics was born with the creation of the Suez Canal, which marked a revolutionary turn in the chain of terrestrial and sea communications worldwide. The discovery of an exceptional port site in a small place called Djibouti led to the development of a modern city and inspired the creation of a revolutionary transportation system. The railway line which would connect the city of Djibouti with Addis Ababa, the new capital of an Ethiopia in the throes of modernization. The crucial stages of urban development in the city of Djibouti remain closely linked to the future of its port. Until the end of the 1930s, the first port infrastructure was both a traditional port, an anchorage point for the local dhows, and a major port of call for liners coming from Europe and heading towards the Indian Ocean and the Far East. <laughs> From then on, the railway line channeled the bulk of traffic and trade between the Ethiopian highlands and the shores of the Red Sea. The growing port activity incited economic stakeholders to reorganize and radically develop the old port of Djibouti, modernizing and extending its facilities. At the end of the Second World War, the strategic requirements for exploration, transportation and marketing of petrol and its derivatives sparked the second historical turn in the port of Djibouti's infrastructural modernization, with the construction of its first fuel depots. From this period onwards, Djibouti became the fourth largest bunkering port in the world and the third largest French port after Le Havre and Marseille. During the 1960s, the Red Sea became one of the busiest sea corridors in the world. The port of Djibouti began to be compared to a service station, and its traffic quadrupled in less than a decade. At the beginning of the 1980s, the rapid containerization of international sea trade gave birth to a new era. In 1985, the port of Djibouti opened its first container terminal, which generated a sustained economic impact on the port services industry as a whole. Today, thanks to a transport policy which is consistently renegotiated, and with its modern infrastructures incorporated into one of the most efficient transport chains in the region, the port of Djibouti has become a major logistics platform of the third millennium. 
the key portal to an Africa which will determine the powerful markets of tomorrow.
Despite its continental position, with access to most of the world's seas and oceans, Africa still lacks efficient port infrastructures. In the new global environment, the increased economic power of emerging countries, which is characterized by a growing flow of commercial trade, will transform Africa into a continent sought after for its natural riches and its ideal geographic location. Located on one of the poles of gravity of this rapidly changing continent, and thanks to its transport infrastructure, Djibouti is more central than ever to this new momentum of geographical economic reorganization. This restructuration of sea and port transport, accomplished in less than a decade, reflects Djibouti's desire to continually meet the challenges it faces, challenges resulting from the profound transformations of the global economy. By reinforcing its technical capacities, optimizing its human potential, and modernizing its infrastructures, the port of Djibouti is today a central player in a diversified strategy of competitive services. The Dorella Container Terminal was created in response to the demand and needs of international sea traffic, comprising increasing volumes of containerized cargo shipments. The modern facilities in Dorella's container terminal meet the challenges of rapidly increasing regional, continental, and international demand. The port of Djibouti is a first logistics platform for receiving and handling containers in Eastern Africa. Vast urban spaces have been developed and equipped to effectively fulfill the requirements engendered by this port traffic expansion. The Djibouti Dry Port is another example of the Port of Djibouti's capacity to continually modify its commercial strategy and consolidate the essential role of the country's transport and logistics platform. Thus, to promote the tax, legal and commercial benefits Djibouti can offer, the Ports and Free Zones Authority receives, advises and assists international investors wishing to benefit from Djibouti's numerous advantages. Located at the center of all major sea routes and on one of the main axes of petrol supply to the main world economies, the port of Djibouti is precisely situated in the heart of this strategic and highly protected corridor of international trade. Djibouti's oil terminal is already an essential bridgehead for future supply lines, which will be essential to the security and stability of our world economies. With the construction in Dauda of a terminal reserved exclusively for the exportation of cattle, Djibouti has also become a regional hub for exporting livestock coming from the Horn of Africa. The creation of a site adapted for the embarkation of cattle was essential to satisfy the requirements of international safety and animal health standards. From the Bay of Goubet to the new port of Tadjoua, the new policy of improving access to the vast Ethiopian hinterland requires a revival of Djibouti's historical coastline. Djibouti's strategy in the domain of intermodal transport logistics is primarily to offer competitive services able to fulfill the expectations of the northern part of Ethiopia. With the upcoming opening of the Tajua Balho Highway, a new era in the history of regional transport will commence in the Horn of Africa. The port of Djibouti is henceforth the epicenter of an unprecedented momentum of intermodal transport reorganization, which will permanently transform the national territory into a real crossroads country.
Djibouti is now more than ever an international hub at the heart of economic trade in a constantly changing world.